Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we're going to be building an arcade test rig or a jammer super gun, I think they're normally called. So yeah, we're going to get on with the build today. I'm not going to film every single bit of the build. I'll talk you through it as I'm going through. I'll probably do a little bit of a voiceover rather than uh, trying to film everything because I haven't got my overhead camera set up. So uh, we're going to do a bit of a mishmash of a overview video rather than a, a build step by step. But hopefully there's enough information in there. If you do want to build something like this in the future, you'll have everything in there. And of course, ask me in the comments if you've got any questions. So let's get on with the build and I'll catch you in a little sec. Cool. Okay, so let's talk through the kit. This is an RK power supply or a switching power supply unit. It'll do minus five volt out, plus five volt out, and 12 volt out on the ground. The bottom three connections are for the UK for 230 volts for us. Um, but this is what you'll find in most RK machines uh, around the world with different voltage inputs. Okay, so next up is a jammer wiring loom. So this one's a pre-built one. It's got a couple of adjustments I need to make to it later on. It's got a bit of a jammer wire into it, which I'll explain later. Um, but yeah, everything's here. It's in a pretty decent condition. It's got all the spade connectors for the power supply. It's got all the connectors for the joysticks. It's even got a connector to the CGA or to VGA board, which we need in a little bit. So that's pretty good. And this was quite cheap off Amazon, so not a bad purchase. Okay, so next up is our VGA connector. So this is what takes your jammer signal, video signal in and then converts it out. So you can see along the bottom of the screen at the moment, there's a couple of different connectors there. Uh, they'll take in different signals. So we're going to use this jammer connection off the jammer board, all pre-built for us. So we're just connecting it in and then we're going to connect this other connector, which is the five volt supply again, coming off that jammer supply board. So it's quite easy to connect in. And that's it pretty much and then we just need the VGA out which is now at the bottom of the screen to connect to our monitor when we're done. So the jammer loom was missing the minus 5 volts which we need for some of the boards I'm going to be running. So I'm going to run an extra cable, I've got a spade connected and some heat shrink tubing. Just going to connect it to both component side and solder side of the jammer wiring harness. As you can see it's already marked up but they didn't run the cables. Okay so salvage this really cheap PC speaker, it's a bit crap but it'll do for now. Um, as you can see inside, it's it's a very basic speaker. We're just going to solder the two cables into here from the jammer wiring loom. Um, all the volume is controlled on the jammer board, so we don't have to worry about that either. Next up is probably one of the most important parts of this is a decent joystick. So this is a micro switch joystick. It's an Xbox joystick. This was donated to me in a bunch of faulty parts that Mike Shed sent to me. Um, so I'll put a link to Mike and his channel down below. Mike's a great guy and we would, I can't remember what we did, I think I sent him a console or something and he sent me a load of bits and pieces and within it was this. Um, as you can see, the wiring inside of it, as standard, is a bit of a mess. Uh, it's got that interface board, it's got these shaker motors and a couple of the bits in there. We're going to get rid of all of that and go right back to basics and wire straight into the buttons for both the joystick and for the buttons. So this is what it looked like after wiring. It's still a bit of a mess, so those little connectors on the left are for the stutter, well, what is now the coin and start button, wired directly into the bottom of the buttons and connected straight onto the edge connectors for the um, micro switches for the joystick. All works nice and neat, and I end up running the cables back out the memory card slot for the joystick, so it worked out quite nicely actually. I had a couple of unused buttons in the joystick, so I run five extra cables down just so I could use them in the future for test or something else and not have to worry about wiring them in again. Okay, so I've got everything up and running, but I was getting a bit of a jumpy monitor signal, which I'll show you now. Um, so what I ended up doing is snipping this uh, sync connection and put a 10 kilo ohm resistor in there. And once I was done, the video signal came out quite nice. Uh, I put a bit of heat shrink and tubing around it. And then, yeah, as you can see on screen now, it's looking quite nice and Double Dragon's running without any jumping, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the last thing for me to do was tidy up that wiring harness because it was cabled everywhere at this point. So I bought this uh, tape off of Amazon and it's for wiring looms basically and it's got a nice soft textured finish to it, a nice fluffy finish. Um, I bought four rolls of it, I'll put it in the link in the description down below. But as you can see here, I just wrapped it around the cables. I've got those extra five cables in there and it gave me a nice finish in the end of a single cable going to my joystick from the jammer wiring loom. So it saves me getting everything snagged on it in the future. Okay, so I've got my original Technos Double Dragon 2 PCB connected up now. It's still dirty, I haven't cleaned this one up or anything yet since I picked them all up. Uh, control stick has now got a wrapped cable, and so I've done the power going from the jammer connection into this power supply. This power supply is still rubbish, it won't get above 
4.6 reading off the board so I'm surprised it's even running but uh, it's running and it's up and, and it's working uh, the reason I wanted to test this one first of all because I wanted to test the board and as you can see working which is amazing uh, second reason is the original and the bootleg my bootleg doesn't give me any sound I tested that earlier um, but the original as well needs minus five on sound and when you hear I press my back button which is my credit button you should hear from this speaker and we're crediting that. so let's press start and see if we get the iconic sound of double dragon there meant to be music there we go that's the sound I wanted awesome so joystick is working i think the down is a little bit temperamental i might have to swatch the micro switch the micro switch out on that one but it's running around nice i can punch jump kick at some point i might put a connector in here and wire it up to something different but for now this is a nice joystick and yeah pretty pleased with it so yeah let's try and give this game a bit of a blast and i'll catch you in a second cool Okay, so a couple of days later and we are complete on this. Um, it's not boxed or anything at the moment. I think I will build a, a box or something to house a power supply and uh, the other bits and pieces just to keep it nice and neat. Um, I've upgraded my cup of tea to a beer. Um, Jammer harness is all nice and wrapped up now. This tape is really nice. So this fabric stretchy tape is pretty cool. I bought four rolls of it on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description down below. Really nice for just wrapping and wiring harnesses, 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 um, and yeah, making them a little bit neater so you haven't got cables snagging on everything. Um, I'll show you on the joystick now. So the joystick has got this really nicely wound cable. It's got this knobby end at the end. It's a bit of a stumpy end, like a dog that's had his tail docked. Um, but that's got some extra connections in there. So I ran an extra four wires, I think it was, four or five wires, uh, just so I can potentially use these buttons in the future if I need to. I think those two and those down there. Um, we got start or one credit up and then start. One, two, three, four, five, and six, I think, are wired in. They're wired in, in like a chammer way. Um, if you know anything about jammer and chammer, basically there's a little bit of difference in the wiring. Jammer is the traditional wiring that all the PCBs are going to use. Chammer is more around the things like the Pandora's box and that where they use six buttons on a jammer wiring loom. Um, this has got an extra couple of connections on the end of it, uh, which I think I may snip off uh, and convert them into ground because basically jammer is what I'm going to be using on all these. Chammer is a little bit different and it uses a little bit different wiring setup so i'm not gonna get into the detail of that um, we changed out the power supply went with this one in the end i'll put a decent photo of it now i can't show it on this camera um i ended up buying a new one i've got my old one down here i bought this one off of somebody on uk back um <coughs> it worked it gave me five volt it gave me minus five volt um but when i was testing some boards with it i put the the pot right up um, and even when I was connected to the board, you want to test the voltage here, but you also want to test it on the board. And I wasn't barely getting 5 volts on the board, um, so the voltage drop was loads. I don't know whether that was down to my wiring harness or the jammer loom type of setup, or whether it was down to the supply. So I bought another supply, and the other one is actually working a little bit better. It's still not perfect, but it's a lot better. The CGA to VGA connector has been really good. So that little board, um, I'll show you. I can pick it up and show it on camera, but that works really well. So I get a little bit of movement in the screen, and I'm using a 16 by 9 monitor, which is just beyond the camera at the moment, uh, which isn't ideal for obviously 4x3 arcade machines. So um, I've got this quite heavy for how small it is. Um, a little Dell monitor needs a bit of a clean up. It's a little bit scratched in places, but it's not in bad condition little Dell 4x3 uh, VGA monitor so that'll be used for this arcade setup eventually uh, the plan is that I move my desk and all my soldering equipment into a little extension uh, I'm going to be building that over the next couple of months so that should be hopefully completed before Christmas give me a bit of space in here um, and then I've got loads of projects to work on once I've done that because I can't really film too much in here you can see from the edit today that 
I'm filming with the overhead camera, but I haven't got cameras set up around. Um, so it's been a little bit more difficult to film this time. Um, yeah, but otherwise, it's all set up. It's all working. Got my little speaker, which gives the sound output for it. It's not great, but again, it's a test rig. It's not um, an arcade setup. I think if we're going to make this a little bit more permanent in the future, maybe I'll upgrade the speakers and do a couple more things just to make it a little bit more... Uh, attractive for the desk um, but yeah I'm really pleased I uh, just wanted to show that it's quite simple uh, both cost wise and uh, technical ability to build one of these little test rigs um, nice little joystick a power supply a video converter and a jammer harness and you're done pretty much and a speaker so this was great this was a, a good interim obviously it goes through to SCART which is quite convenient uh, this was a 20 quid AliExpress. There are more expensive AliExpress ones which give you a lot more functionality. Um, but this one's going to give me minus 5 volts and the ability to adjust everything. So really pleased with what I've got set up now and it should be good for the future to test all these amazing boards that I've got sat up above me. So yeah, the next couple of videos will probably be doing a couple of other repairs. I'm a little bit behind on my repair log. I've got a couple of things for friends and family to do. Um, I've got a PlayStation Vita, I've got a PS5 that I've still not done, uh, just not had the space. My desk is full. <coughs> and if I take a PlayStation 5 apart on here at the moment, I'm not going to be able to put it back together because it's going to lose everything and don't want that. Um, I've got a couple of other things to be working on, so over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be tidying this mess up, getting on some repairs, or maybe I'll post some of them, maybe I won't post the others, depending on what repair it is. I've got a Vita, I've got a joystick to work on, a couple of other things. So. If I can, I'll film them and I'll get them uploaded. Um, but the idea is now, get this extension built to the end of the garage, start afresh in a new year, get all my work out there, get everything sorted, and then really hit new YouTube in, in the new year, get some more videos going out there. Um, I've got some really exciting projects I want to work on. Like the pinball machine has been massively neglected, so I need to do more on that. Um, but yeah, lots of good things to come. So if you're new to the channel, obviously, Subscribe down below and I'll catch you on the next video. Cool. See you soon.